Hello everyone, and welcome back to something a little bit different. As you can see, we're not playing uh, playing Hearthstone today. We're we'll playing something a little bit different. We're playing Book of Demons. This is a game that uh, just launched fairly recently. Um, I wanted to check it out because we had a 66% uh, a, uh, off coupon code because we owned Darkest Dungeon. And uh, Darkest Dungeon was one of my favourite games of all time, it's my favourite PC games. Uh, and I figure any game that is made by the same developers or remotely similar is going to be a good, good time. So we're definitely going to check, uh, check things out. I have played through the tutorial, I actually played through the demo which you can download over on Steam. Uh, really enjoyed that and immediately snapped the game up. So we're going to be playing through um, on a new, new account. I've already created my character, we're playing the Warrior. Um, and I think I will actually probably have to move myself. So let's, uh, let's uh, to have a journey over here, I think. There we go. I'm not sure if anything uh, important happens up in, up here. Make myself a little bit smaller anyway. Let's try, let's try this. So, uh, this game is very, like, uh, inspired by Diablo as you can see with this kind of like gothic aesthetic uh, so let's talk to this person is that really you I'm so happy I can barely hear you madame hide the brawl deck you're behind it oh uh, that's a uh, oh, me that's already. a twitch uh, interface so you'll actually have to turn it off the uh, the innkeeper interface. Paper scales, yes. Goss. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, missed me already. So medical current on key. Okay. Oh, and we've got decadent cane over here. Your brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know, <laughs> but I beg you. Interesting. Uh, let's just quickly... There we go. We're gonna be extra small today. Interesting. So this is our uh, Tristram, I guess. And uh, this is the dungeon that we're gonna explore, so let's jump in. So that's the first boss, the cook, like the butcher, very cute. The anti-pope, there's a song called the anti-pope. And then, demon lord themselves, Diablo, with his little ducky. Very, very, very cute, so, uh, let's uh, get into some gameplay, so, the gameplay here is very, very interesting, very, uh, uh, pay attention to tutorials. Yes, let's pay attention to the tutorials. I am the sword that splits darkness. Love splitting some darkness. All right. Mmm, that ta sound effect is so tasty. That's the gauntlet sound effect, right? Click anywhere to move. Click behind or or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. So we're gonna let us go. Just bopping around. You can interact with objects in your light radius. So our light radius is here. The skelly man. So we actually auto attack. Pick up some gold. And we're just going on a little journey, a little chill dungeon crawl. Click to choose a target. Your character auto attacks. Auto attack is slow. Each hit damages one heart, click or click and hold the target to attack faster, when engage with monsters, click and hold to retreat. So click and hold behind us, let me see. Oh. Look at that DPS. Oh, intense. Icons in the top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. So this is similar to Darkest Dungeon. One of the things I really liked about it was that it kind of had a map and it kind of showed you what could be there. 
So you always knew when you'd uh, you got everything. All right, but a new card, health potion. Item cards consume charges when used. You can charge them at the fortune teller or find charges in the dungeon. That's what it says behind me. Whoop, there we go. Ah, uh, sure, let's equip our health potion. You can use the card by clicking it, uh, by right clicking it, or by pressing it bottom. View cards by pressing the I button. Rearrange cards, yep. Cool. All right, so we can press one to uh, use our health potion. Let's uh, slay some skeletons. Ooh, we got our health down the bottom left. Can always go back to the town to use the heal. Yeah. Well, we have full health, so let's just keep going. Skeleton Bash of the Game. Adept Bone Collector. That's what they call me. Yeah, the old Adept Bone Collector. Kill monsters gain experience points to level up. Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. Every level gives you one point which can be added to your hearts or used to boost your mana. So if we go over here, we can level up. Every time you turn a level up point into a heart or mana, the point of the opposite type goes into the cauldron. To collect the contents of the cauldron, talk to the barmaid. Even though you lose uh, the prizes, dying doesn't destroy level up points in the cauldron. Another boy just appeared. Done. Awesome. Let's uh, let us continue. Let's bash some skeletons. Zombies and some other monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around, lethally poisoning monsters, or lethally poisoned monsters are marked with a skull. Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. There we go, a little poison nova. Cute. I like this paper aesthetic, it's very... I'm usually not so much into the like paper dungeon kind of games. There's just something a little off about them. Notice the footprints you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. Normal footprints, partially visited. No footprints, you haven't been there yet. The mini map will help you track all the points of interest on the level. Open it with a tab or scroll. So yeah, or golden, golden feetsies. Okay. Let's explore over here. Well, that's a big boy. Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple stages. The more stages a boss has, the more rewards he drops when slain. Why is it a he? Why can't they be she? Why are there no female bosses? Interesting. All bosses stages are shown on the boss bar. Before each stage the boss is immune. He is preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. Alright. Getting a bit close there, bud. Whoa! Okay. Actually we should definitely get this way. Whoa! Oh no. We're in a bit of a situation, good friends. Oh no, we still can't get past. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad, folks. Here's our special Healy Dealy potion. Rest in pieces. Got him! Paper Mario Diablo Edition. What it feels like. Excellent. Ooh, card, Shadow Sword. Grants an extra attack against an additional opponent in range. So 
Sweet. So this one costs us six mana to equip, so we can't equip it yet. But as soon as we level up and have... We can take some extra mana. And, uh... We can equip that cool artifact. Alright. Now this is the point of, during the demo at which I, uh... At which I immediately bought the game. Is right after here. Oh. So that was just kind of the, the early tutorial. This is the part at which I lost my mind. This flexiscope system. So with flexiscope you can choose the size of your game session. Depending on your preferences you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games. Regardless of how much time you have, flexiscope ensures a fair balance of threats and rewards that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. Since flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more accurate. So, this is what it starts with. We could do a very small game. We could do just a regular small game. And it shows you how many rewards you'll get, how much gold you'll get, how much progression you'll get towards actually finishing the game. So if we wanted to do a bit of a longer session, we can get more progress done. But if we only have a small amount of time, we can do a smaller session. And then you've got bigger things up here. So we'll do a, we'll do a small session, a 12 minute session. Hopefully it'll uh, learn and it'll balance things based off of that. So go with that. Uh, now let's open our cards and we'll equip our Shadow Sword. So we can't cast spells, but that's okay, we don't have any spells. But we do have uh, some extra attacks going on here. So let's, uh, let's jump in here and uh, slay some skeletons, slay some spire. Speaking of slay the spire, I mean, that's... I am slightly reminded of this game just because of the amount of life. Uh, amount of stuff going on. There's a lot going on, and it kind of feeds it to you very slowly. Cauldron ingredients. Ingredients found in the dungeon are placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. To collect the contents of the cauldron, talk to the barmaid. Beware, when you die, you lose the prizes stored in the cauldron. Minor health points are preserved in casual and normal, which we are playing on normal. Ooh, so we got a little bonus, bonus hearty there. A little heart point. Oh, okay. So we got armored enemies or shielded monsters. Some arm some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shield by clicking the shield icon. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can reappear after being destroyed. See, that's a really interesting thing. Like, what other kind of dungeon crawly hack and slash game has a mechanic like this, right? Where you gotta actually click click the shield icon. Oh, that's bad. Oops. Oh. Poison damages you over time. Total number of poison damages shown below the heart orb. When the demon glows, quickly clip the orb, the orb to shorten the poison duration. The sharp shooting jump. Oof. What's this? Bloody armor. Recovers hearts lost in battle. So, chance to spawn hearts when being hit. 40%. Interesting. This. Cool. So yeah, the Shadow Sword's pretty good against these bosses that summon extra enemies. Because you just kind of cleave them down. This is so sick. Yeah, it's fun. Like a little, uh, little journey. It really brings back those, uh, those Diablo vibes. Those classic Diablo vibes. Gargoyles have stone hearts. They're immune to elemental effects. When gargoyles turn to statues, they heal over time. Beware. Lots of clickables to click upon as well. Ooh. A boy popped out of that barrel. Oh, 
Alright. We got an extra mana point, so we actually have a mana point now. Let's check our, uh, check our map. So we still need to find the exit, I think. Uh, so we haven't been up here. New gossip in town. That's like every Facebook message. Every Facebook message I get from people should just be that notification. New gossip in town. Give me that cup. Boy barrel. Yeah, a barrel full of boys. After you take the stairs down, you can re-enter a level from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. Ah, you can always go back to town from the cost cut screen in between levels. Well, let's... Should we go back to town and have a, have a gossip? I think we'll just keep... We'll just keep, keep delving. Yeah. So I'm trying to use the arrow keys to move and see if uh, we can kind of move and... No, we can't. Can't really move and, and attack at the same time. Whoa! That's a big gargoyle. Oh, Summons rocks as well to block your path. That's pretty cute. This! Woo! Got a bunch of ingredients. Cute. What do we get from this? A uh hot. -huh. Kill. Boss Gargoyle. Boss Baby. Boss Gargoyle Baby. I've not actually seen Boss Baby, so I can only... I'm only Mimi. Whoa. Oh. Sorry for all you uh, Boss Baby fans. Nice quick one. Let's keep keep the delving going. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of gargoyles. Oof. Oof. We can only assume the boss baby is a gargoyle. Yeah. So one thing I'm not sure of is if these arrows are actually like dodgeable. Or do I have like an innate dodge chance or yeah. like should I be trying to actually physically dodge these arrows or should I just be uh, be running? Should I actually run straight through them? Yeah. I'm also not sure with these WASD controls. Oh, we got a spell. Mighty Blow. Spell cards consume mana when used. Deals massive damage and stuns a target, requires target. Costs one. Let's equip it. Let's swap it over here. So we want to hit two to activate our, uh, our mighty below. Which we can do once. We can do once because we have one mana. You're not in top four and you should probably see the heal before entering dungeon. You know what? Fair enough. Let's go back to town. Check the latest goss. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing. 
Impressive. And it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is Right. What's that goss? I oh, the goss is on the cauldron. Uh, so we can pay 500, we get eight prizes. I think we'll let the prizes stack up a bit more. There is a mechanic in the game where you uh, venture. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing all Deckard the just wants to tell us about all the all the cra all the cool monsters. Thanks, Deckard. Unlock a card slot for two thousand. Yeah, let's do that. Just in case we pick up some cool new piece of gear. Thank the heavens for hearing. Thank the. Just got some goss for me. Cool. Can you heal me up? Nice. Oh, we even leveled up. Um, take some health. We're taking some damage. Greetings, traveler. People call People me call the me fortune, fortune teller. teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. Oh my gosh! I am so smarmy. Cards Get out of here. Charge cards. So we can pay money to get some health potion charges, I guess. She also upgrades cards, but we don't, uh, oh, don't have that missed me yet. Up. And we don't really want to take our cauldron, so let's just uh, let's keep going. We can fist exactly one thing. Whoa. Jeez, these archers. Are uh, massive. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have used the uh shouldn't have used my fist so early. Oh, it's an uh, armored boss. Can I dodge this? Whoa. The game is definitely a little bit unwieldy if you if we're using the uh, um, arrow keys to if we aren't using the arrow keys to move. I prevail. Got him. All right, let's uh, let's take a quick heal. We got a new card. The Amulet of Mana. Regenerates mana points over time. And it costs two. So we could equip it, I think. No, we can't equip it. We can almost equip it. And then we'll have no mana. But I think that's a good plan. That we should, uh... Whoa! Whoa! So these are just poisonous zombie pigs. One things to do in this level. Eighteen gold. Oh, there it is. All right, let's kick it. So that was one gameplay session. What was that flexi scope results say? Uh, Heart of Iron didn't die once. Swept all levels clean. Killed every last one. A bunch of other little chivos. We unlocked, unlocked a little snacky. Yeah, let's be a snake. Awesome. Well, I think I'm gonna gonna cut this video off, this recording off here. Uh, that's the first uh, first playthrough of Book of Demons. Uh, I'm really like it. Definitely gonna keep playing this game. So. Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you like this style of game, or if you don't, to be honest. If you just want to see more Hearthstone content, feel free to spam that as well. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this, so consider picking it up, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.